It is way too early for there to be so much noise going on out there. So, good morning. It's like, at this point it's like 7.45. And guess what's happening today? I'm having my wisdom teeth cut out of my head. I'm not looking forward to this. I have not been looking forward to this for the past like four months. And the process has already begun. I had to put on these little patches with cream in them on both my arms. There's one right there on the other side. This side looks pretty bad because while I was brushing my teeth, it uh kind of popped open and all the stuff came out. Oops. And I guess these are meant to like numb the area before the IV gets put in, which I guess that's kind of courteous. Most doctors don't numb you before sticking in an IV. And I'm being put under general anesthesia, which means I'm being completely knocked out. It's not just numbing my face or a part of my mouth or anything. I am completely going under. And I had the choice of whether I wanted to do it in, like, just have that part of my face numbed or if I wanted to be put under completely, and I chose being put under completely because I would much rather just like be completely unaware of what's going on. Even though I wouldn't feel it otherwise, I just, I really do not want to be sitting in a chair and like hearing them and feeling the pressure of them like yanking teeth out of my head. I imagine that's not a very fun experience. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog right after the surgery, because I don't know how I'm going to react to it. I might be really funny and loopy, but I'm, I could very well be in so much pain that I'm, like, in tears. I just, I don't know. Alright, well. Guess I gotta get going. Fun time. So I just got out of the procedure. I can't talk. You gotta show them what you texted me. I can't. I tried to text her <laughs> what I was saying. You wanna I, see it? Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. And it says, <laughs> that was my text message. I was trying to say I can't swallow. <laughs> <laughs> look at the blood. Am you I look, bleeding? Look Ew. At the you look like a <laughs> zombie. <laughs> but you really need to not sit up straight. You need to lean back. I went in the back and they told me no cameras. All right, so I couldn't vlog. But I got my teeth. Out of your face is what you said. I'm gonna see. <laughs> I'll show them to you later when I can think. Ugh. Now I have four fingers. Good night. So much blood is coming out of my mouth. You're gonna probably use the gun. I'm gonna go with that. You're gonna take a giveaway to get him out of the What, Mom? We were just rushing to the lives. Oh, man. I feel pathetic. I'm gonna lay here. Chewing on gauze. Waiting for the bleeding to stop. I don't hurt right now. But I'm gonna change. Actually, it's time for me to take those. <laughs> it's time for me to take those guys out. Fair warning, this is bloody. Gross. Alright, so it's 12.30. That means it's four hours since the surgery, and I still cannot talk at all. My entire mouth is numb. They numb my entire face, even down my throat. Still feeling kind of weird from the 
anesthesia stuff. And you missed it. I didn't vlog it, but I'm pouring gallons of blood out of my mouth. It's disgusting. Fair warning, if blood bothers you, look away. This is just a small sample. It's not too much. But this is just, like, this is a few minutes ago. Because the blood is, like, pulling up back here from where it was pulled. And I can't spit, but I also can't swallow it. So I had to take the washcloth and just, like, dry it up from the inside of my mouth, basically. I fell asleep for a little while, but then I had to wake up to take medicine. And now I'm going to go back to sleep. And hopefully, next time I talk to you, I'll be a little bit less numb, and you can actually understand what I'm saying. So it's now 510. Uh, the Novocaine has mostly worn off, except for down here. And I, uh, um, so down here is still numb, but everything else isn't. I started feeling some pain up here, so I took some of the Percocet painkiller, um, which is supposed to knock me out again. And I'm really, really ready for this to not be numb anymore. It feels like there's a giant hole in my jaw right here. I mean, there are holes in my jaw. I was surprised he didn't stitch the holes up. You can, like, see giant gaping holes down into my jaw, which is kind of weird. You know what else is funny? I know I've actually vlogged a little bit today. I don't remember it. I don't know if I've shown you my teeth yet. I actually did. I, I asked them if I could keep my teeth. And they said yes. So, fair warning, I'm going to show you my wisdom teeth. And if this is going to bother you, look away. Well, that's them. Mm. I don't know which one is which, <laughs> but you can see that all but one of them, they took out whole. This is actually the, uh, the nicest looking one. It's completely whole, and look at the roots. The roots were all twisted. It's crazy. And then this one... Is one piece too, but I don't understand what this is. There's like, there's this giant mass on the side of it. And you see that? Like something that it was surrounded. Is that a piece of my bone jaw? <laughs> I hope not. And then this one is actually, this is the reason why I had to have them removed because I've had my wisdom teeth in for several years now and they didn't really bother me. However, if you look here, you see that giant black spot on this one? Yeah, that is literally a rotten tooth. And the reason this tooth rotted like this was because of my terrible, terrible soda habit. I've cut back a lot. Um, when I realized just how much damage it was doing. This was actually kind of the wake-up call. And it happened because because of all the soda that I used to drink, it weakened my teeth to the point to where they are seriously brittle. All of them are. I've just been really lucky that I haven't broken off any of these. It's dark on the inside because it's essentially a giant cavity that was getting worse and worse and worse. Somehow, I managed to not feel any of it. it. It didn't hurt, but that was kind of the final straw where it was like, all right, we need to have these taken out before there's many complications. So yeah, let my story be a lesson. Don't drink too much soda because it literally does destroy your teeth. And also, I apologize that I look like a total wreck today. I didn't bother showering or taking care of myself at all because I knew that I was going to be going to something that was not fun and I was going to be spending the rest of the weekend right here. <laughs> so 
We'll be back to our normal selves Sunday or Monday. Yeah.